Welcome back to Coloring Through the Bible. My name is Kegan Harkins, and today we're talking about Exodus chapter 14. So the Israelites have fled Egypt, and now they find themselves hunkered down by the Red Sea with all of Pharaoh's army charging down on them. And what does their leader, Moses, tell them to do? Does he tell them to grab their swords and prepare for war? Does he tell them to go run and hide? No, I mean, he doesn't do any of those things. So verses 13 and 14 tell, says, Moses answered the people because, you know, they were freaking out. You know, Moses, what do we do? So Moses answered the people, do not be afraid. Stand firm and you'll see the deliverance the Lord will bring you today. The Egyptians you see today, you will never see again. The Lord will fight for you. You need only be still. Can you imagine that? So they're stuck, right? The, the Red Sea's behind them. All of Pharaoh's army is coming down. They've got chariots. They've got archers. They've got swords. They are ready to just wipe them out. And the Israelites left dressed for war, but they don't know how to fight. And so here they are stuck between a mob and a sea. And they're freaking out. And Moses says, hey, don't worry. God's got this. Stand and wait. Now, very few of us enjoy waiting. And I am absolutely learning how to wait graciously, but it is a process that I am slowly, slowly learning. But how many of us would like to sit and wait or be able to sit and and wait when it feels like we're just waiting for our doom or our destruction. And that's how the Israelites had to have felt as they watched Egypt's army get closer and closer to them. Standing still as the world around you falls apart can be the hardest and the most courageous act of faith. So bold that many of us can't do it. So in truth, actually none of us can do it on our own. We can't muster up that kind of unwavering faith. That is faith that comes because we have the Holy Spirit in us, because we have this history of God being on our side and seeing us through. And we can stand because of that this history and that, that Holy Spirit giving you strength inside. But we also need the support of other believers. So think about a creeping vine. Its ability to stand firm during a storm is twofold. First, it's craftily wound itself around the stem of stronger plants to gain strength from them. It uses their combined strength to guarantee the success of its most important defense its roots. So the other plant ensures that strong winds don't pull its roots from the soil, which give it life because it knows that that other plant is strong. So it's depending on that other plant to help it weather the storm. So if we're to remain faithful in the midst of the storms of our life, we have to copy a vine We've got to wind ourselves around the support of other believers because everyone falters. Everyone has moments of weakness, but together we can hold one another up so that none of us becomes uprooted from God's grace. This is why Hebrews 10.25 says, Let us not give up meeting together, as some are in the habit of doing. But let us encourage one another, and all the more as you see the day approaching. So think back to the Israelites on the shore of the Red Sea. Moses told them to hold their ground and watch the Lord fight their battle. But what if panic had swept through the crowd? I mean, I'm sure there were some panicked people. I'm sure there were plenty of people who didn't believe that God could save them. But somehow, they all stood. 
I mean, can't you just picture somebody freaking out and the person standing next to them putting their arm on their shoulder and reassuring them it's okay. God's got this. Remember all the things that he did back in Egypt? We won't be destroyed. We're not going to be abandoned. That person's faith would encourage the weaker person's faith. And together, it was like a wave. They all strengthened each other. Our faith strengthens the faith of others who in turn strengthen our faith when we're weak. So I want you to encourage each other. I want to encourage you to wind yourself around a good, strong community of believers. Be an encouragement and get encouragement. Get involved in your local church. Make strong Christian fellowships with and that are going to uplift you and encourage you, that are going to keep you accountable. Give strength so that you can take strength when you're weak. Have a truly blessed day, and I will see you next time. Mm-hmm.